learning is a lifelong process, not just for students, but for the educators as well. Continuing education is crucial for us to be able to uh, really follow our kids who are leading us along in many ways. Step one is getting kids to write, building response. Step two is building the structures that are going to help support kids in terms of reading in your classroom. Penn Literacy Network is built on the idea of co-constructed learning. Teachers are able to build their own models uh, from what we present in classrooms. We bring important ideas, frameworks, and enjoyable, engaging strategies for teachers to utilize with their students. Teachers demand the kind of knowledge that enables them to go back to class the next day and do something that will make a difference. Teachers get the opportunity to work with their colleagues to create and enhance lessons based around our frameworks. Kids being able to read, write, and talk better makes a difference in chemistry, algebra two, as well as in an English classroom. PLN is useful to teachers at any level because it's about good teaching. Frederick Douglass to very read well learned. So how are we going to fix this, children? What are we going to do? Wait, Switch. Switch. As educators, we have to constantly be reflective about what we're doing in the classroom and think about um, the theory behind what we do. And we know more about how kids learn than we ever have. Uh, explosion of research in the brain and, and what kinds of activities teachers can use in classrooms to really make positive differences in kids' learning curves are, is, is tremendous. The core activities of Penn Literacy Network are our on-site credit-bearing and non-credit-bearing programs. We provide these for teachers, school leaders, and also for parents. School leaders and administrators really, if they're going to be instructional leaders in their school, need to understand learning, nurture it, support it, know what to look for in classrooms, and be able to provide the opportunity for teachers to grow within that kind of an environment. The challenge is when you've never seen the word before, you have no prior knowledge. So what we're going to do is categorize these words so that they make sense to you. Without a doubt, what we have heard from our staff in PLN, it is the single greatest professional development experience that they have had. It's brought all of the pieces together and it has certainly given them more, more tools to use in their classroom with their students. What we hear from educators in Penn Literacy Network classes is that they appreciate the practical nature of our work and the reflective aspect of our work. There are things that they can use right from the first day. The way we've implemented it is you have a class and then you have a few weeks for some practice, then you come back and build your skill set and, 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 add, and add to the practice from there. PLN is applicable to a struggling student and to the students who excel both, so that's one thing I, I really love about it. We feel an obligation to make sure that what we're sharing with teachers is the best thinking at this time about how to help our children. Literacy is a child's ability to be able to read, write, and talk. Uh, that ability to communicate with the world, that ability to uh, digest and comprehend more and more complex text as they grow older. Literacy is central to learning your subject. Without the ability to navigate text, you really struggle to learn your subject. Continuing education is a lifetime proposition. The development of ideas, the science in the field, the knowledge base continues to expand, and anyone who is a professional needs to keep up. Literacy and learning across the curriculum is the core of our work, and we build our work around the very successful work that schools are doing, and we continue to enhance that curriculum. When this program is embraced by whole schools and whole districts, uh, achievement improves. Uh, student engagement improves, teacher practice elevates, and it is, it's certainly better for all parts of the learning community. You're never too old to really enjoy your teaching, to, to be the best teacher that you could possibly be. If you're a good teacher, you can be a great teacher. If you're a great teacher, you'll be a greater teacher. It's for the science teacher as well as the English teacher. It's for the math teacher as well as the social studies teacher. It's for the third grade teacher and the twelfth grade teacher. 
It's that commonality of practice that we see for kids that really makes a difference. How do you build good learning habits in kids uh, becomes really our, our, our aim. Uh, we want kids who know how to learn, learn how to learn, and, and teachers who know how to be able to nurture that.